So now I felt like when I walk in faith, when I serve God, when I do what the scripture says, life is going to become easier. When I say yes to Jesus, life is going to become easier. When I accept to walk with Jesus and give my life to Jesus, everything is going to happen all at once. The truth is that everybody wants to experience an easy life, a life without trouble, without so much, you know, struggle, without any difficulty at all. And that is why we have the tendency as humans to choose convenience over purpose. We have the tendency to choose comfort over purpose, over working in purpose, over fulfilling our divine mandates that God has called us to. And in 2024, in this very episode of Act of Faith, I want to remind you that, one, faith does not make life easier, but faith makes life possible. Now, I'm going to explain that in the aspect of us looking for ease in life or looking for a way to have an easy life, a lot of times, the thing we can easily think about is the shortcut. And we forget that as humans, the shortcut is not sustainable. And God says the long run is the process that I want to take you through because I need to train you, I need to prepare you for sustainability. God doesn't want to give you anything that is going to destroy you. Because imagine you as a father giving your child of 12 years old, buying a Lamborghini or, or any kind of big car for your child, expecting that they will know what to do with the car when they have not going to understand life and all of that they might kill themselves with it you can think about any situation that could happen with that but when it comes to our life with god it is not about us going for what is easy now in the scripture that says with god all things are possible i always saw it in the wrong light before and many believers like me might also have that wrong perception which might make them be in the wrong when it comes to their faith and how they view God. When the scripture said, with God all things are possible, I thought that the word possible there meant easy. I thought that the Bible says, with God all things are easy. So now I felt like when I walk in faith, when I serve God, when I do what the scripture says, life is going to become easier. When I say yes to Jesus, life is going to become easier. When I accept to walk with Jesus and give my life to Jesus, Everything is going to happen all at once. And in my ignorance, I did not know that faith does not make life easier. It makes it possible. Because at the end of the day, I checked through Hebrews chapter 11 that talks about the hall of faith. Abraham, Noah, and all those people. It was not an easy life. It was a life that was filled with risks. It was a life that was filled with difficulty and them having to trust God in those difficult moments. And that is what we are called to in life with god all things are possible whatever thing it is but it didn't say it's easy because when you think easy you run away in the light of things not lining up with your convenience and your comfort when you think it's easy when the relationship gets hot and heated when your partner doesn't seem to understand you very well you're going to escape you're going to run you're going to take flight and same thing with the business you started a business if it's not going anywhere after you've started it one, two, three to four, five years and you're like, what is this? You might easily run, not knowing that God wants to use that to grow you and build your integrity and your character and build patience even. Now, when I thought about faith making life possible, I could now see why the Bible has words like patience. I could now see why the Bible has words like endurance. I could now see why the Bible has words like wait on the Lord. Because if, if life were to be easy, I don't need to wait. I don't need to be patient. There has to be no delay. Everything should just happen easily. You know, that's the same impatience we have in life. When we go, maybe you go to the bank and you see a queue. You're like, you just feel like jumping the queue to get to be the first person in the line. And that is how we feel because we are, our design naturally as humans is not the design for us to have patience, for us to persevere. It's a design of this quick fix. And that is not how God designed us. It's because it's as a result of the fall of man. So just get this point and let it stay in your head that faith does not make life easier. It makes life possible. Because in the case of Abraham and Sarah, scripture says that Sarah was old. And even when the angel got to their house and told Sarah that she would give birth to a son, Sarah laughed. <laughs> Be like, angel, well, I don't know about you. I don't know if you understand how old I am. 
And scripture says, is anything too hard for the Lord? Which means, in the first place, when I thought about that, I said, so it's already hard. But it's not too hard for God. Because with God, it is possible. With us, we are going to hit hard grounds. We are going to hit walls. But the Bible says, in all of that, there is victory when we believe God. Now, this is to encourage you, not to discourage you. This is to tell you, if you are hitting on walls, if you are trying things and it seems like it's not working, keep believing God. It's going to work. Maybe you are in a place that you know your climate we live in, in Nigeria and other African countries. It seems like if you don't have anybody, you may not apply the work and get it. Now, it's for you to come to the realization that with God, it is possible. It doesn't mean it is easy. You might get a lot of rejections, but if you trust God, you can get it. Now, the possibility is I have learned a skill and God is the one that will put me in the right place to gain the right opportunity at the right time. Because left for me, the wisdom under the sun in Ecclesiastes 9.11 says that people that have skill is not a guarantee for success. The fastest runner is not a guarantee for him to win the race. But if I were to think in a human perspective, I would imagine that if you are wise, you should at least attain success and you know have food to eat and have enough to spare. But then scripture says, under the sun, things don't work that way. Your skill, you might have a lot of skill and still not become successful. This is where you know that faith doesn't make life easier. It makes it possible. I have attained skills. I am working. But then I need to have faith in God for possibility, for opportunities, for good things to happen to me. I need to have faith in God that as I am applying for that work, I may not have anybody, but I have an invincible father in heaven who I know that the heart of kings is in his hands. He can minister to the person who is checking the applications and say, stop here, give this person the job, put this person's name there, and it happens. That is why some of us may not have anybody and we apply for some opportunities and positions, and you get, what is that? Faith made it possible. Did it mean it was that easy? It wasn't easy. Secondly, talking about the easy life, you need to realize that easy is relative and subjective. Because what is easy to you may not be easy for me. What is easy for you may not be easy for me. What is easy for us are different. Because if I am someone that have resources, buying things is easy for me. Or just going to the grocery and picking anything is easy. But if you don't, you can't just walk up to the grocery store without a list and just start picking things. If I have resources and I have no wisdom on how to manage my resources, decision making is not easy for me. Now, I need somebody with the skill of decision making. Now, I'm just making this analogy based on our climate as human beings. But when it comes to life and purpose, what is easy when God looks at us, what is easy to us is different from when God looks at us, what is easy to us. Now, I'll introduce this word to you, capacity. Now, hear me as I tell you this. God knows your true potential and your true capacity. That is why the scripture says that God will not put on you anything that is beyond you. God will not put on you or allow any temptation to come to you that is beyond you. It means if God will trust you with any temptation or anything at all in life, he trusts that you have the capacity. He has seen that you have the capacity. It is just that you've not gone to that place that you have annexed your true capacity. It's just like this band that I'm wearing. Now, this is the level that it is, but it has the capacity to extend. And then if I extend it too much, it might break because its capacity might not take it means too stretched. Now, what am I trying to say here? In life, you need to stretch your capacity. You need to stretch yourself and get to and nurse the true capacity that God made you because God knows your true capacity. So if God could trust you to walk through a season, to walk through a valley, he knows you can walk through and get to the other side. If God can trust you with a taxing job at the office, he knows you can take care of that. And this is in light of knowing that with faith, it is possible. It is not easier, but it is possible. Which means for me to attain my purpose in life, it is possible. It may not be easy, but it is possible. Faith doesn't make life easier, but faith makes life better. Now, 
The truth is that we may not even know how, but faith makes our life better. Faith makes us come to a place of true peace, true joy, true love, and all of that. Faith in God, because when you have faith in God, it means you are pleasing Him. And when you please God, because you are believing Him, God now orchestrates your life. God now arranges the things that happens in your life. And trusting God and having faith in God is a daily, hourly, second stop. It's not like a one for all, I've trusted God with this and then that's all. No, it's daily as I wake up, why do I go to God in the morning to pray? It's because I'm trusting Him. Why do I say, thank you Jesus when I wake up? It's because I trust Him. Why do I hand over every decision I'm making to God? Because I trust Him. Why do I surrender my relationship to God? Because I trust Him. And whenever I trust God, and in my experience, when I trust God with my relationship, and go to Him in prayer when there is issue, Man, I can't lie to you. All I see is peace and how God orchestrates things. But the moment I think that my mastery can take, that's when I will see a lot of fights. If you can do this, or if you've been doing it, you understand what I'm saying. But if you've not been doing it, if you're experiencing a lot of, you know, bumping heads with your partner, whether in marriage, dating, and whatever kind of relationship with a friend, take things to God. Trust God and see that. With faith, life becomes better. It may not be that it's easy because why do I say it's not easy? Sometimes it's not easy for you to strip yourself and become vulnerable and start talking about things that hurt you. Or some, what, what your partner or your friend or your sibling did that hurt you. Sometimes it's hard to strip yourself and become transparent and become vulnerable. But then that is the part that it's not easy. But when you can trust God and do what doesn't seem easy, you get to a place that is better. And I know that if you decide to trust God with your life and remove the mindset of just thinking I need what is easy and think I need possibility in my life, I need better in my life, I need to stretch my capacity, that will lead you to an even better life. And if you stand out at the other end, people can say you are having an easy life. Yeah. You are having an easy life when they look at you, but you've put in a lot of work and you've trusted God the more. And that is why your life looks easy. Because sometimes when we see people get to a pedestal in life, we feel like, ah, so easy, overnight success. But each overnight success you think is an overnight success took a process. It took work. It took sleepless nights sometimes. And really, was it really an overnight success? No, it wasn't. It took work. So life in itself is not even easy. It is complex. That is the more reason you need God. That is the more reason you need your faith. And when you come to your faith, do not think that your faith will make it easy as if it was just like a game. So now life is not easy. I come to believe in Jesus so that life can be easy, which is, it looks like believing in Jesus is the easy way out. No, it's not. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I am Owe McMahon. If this video is blessing you, hit the like button your like means a lot to this channel and don't forget to watch the next video i'm waiting on you see you there bye bye